Hello, in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw a semicircle in Inkscape. Go ahead and open up Inkscape. I am going to go up here to Object, Fill and Stroke or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl F to have the Fill and Stroke palette here. We are going to need this later. Select the Ellipse tool or press the F5 shortcut on your keyboard to access it. Then click on the artboard and while holding the control key down, draw a perfect circle. Hit the space bar to select the object. Alternatively, you could have used the select and transform tool or the keyboard shortcut F1. Pull a guideline to note the middle. Then select the Bezier or Pen tool, click above the circle to create the first node. Hold the control key down for drawing a straight line and pull the mouse down below the circle. Hit the space bar to select the line. Hold down the shift key and click on the circle to select both objects. Then go to path and select division. You can now pull aside your semicircle. For a second way, let us get the ellipse tool again. Hold down the control key and then pull the mouse to draw a perfect circle. Hit the spacebar to select the object. Alternatively, you could have used the select and transform tool or the keyboard shortcut F1. Next, let us convert the object to path. To do this, go to path, object to path or use the keyboard shortcut shift Control c Select the node tool or hit the keyboard shortcut N to access the nodes. Select this one node and hit delete. Now I am going to pull these nodes handles to the middle to make the object a semicircle. I'm going to pull this first one and then the next one. And now we see we have a semicircle. And what if you want to create a semicircle without this middle line? Let us select the other half circle we produced using the first method. Next, let us convert the object to path. To do this, go to path, object to path, or use the keyboard shortcut shift Control c Then hit N to access the nodes. Select these two nodes in the middle. This toolbar up has further options you can use. Select delete segment between two non-endpoint nodes. Now go to the fill and stroke menu. Select fill and take away the fill by choosing no paint. Select the stroke and you may change the color here. Select stroke style and you may also increase the stroke width here. By the way, you could have adjusted the colors of all the other semicircles this way. Let us duplicate this one by selecting the object and hitting Ctrl D like duplicate on your keyboard. If you intend to have these two ends connected again, hit N to access the nodes. Then select both nodes. This toolbar menu up here will appear again. Choose join selected end nodes with a new segment. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, do not forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.